let's take a look at the new 1CNC XR9 planar finish face machining operation. Now planar finish face is very much like the parallel lace machining operation except that it doesn't require a boundary and you can easily select multiple surfaces. Let me demonstrate. We're going to head over to the command manager, select model tool paths and from there we'll select planar finish face. I'm just going to take my cursor and left click the surfaces that I'd like to machine and then right hand mouse click. At this point we're going to define a tool. I'm happy with the tool parameters. I'm using a 3 8 diameter ball end mill for this. Our clearance looks great. Our step over at 50 thousandths looks fine. I'm going to click next on that. I'm going to change this value. Let's uncheck zero and let's make a Z top of 50 thousandths. That way that top planar face will get machined as well. We'll click finish and there you go. There's the brand new 1CNC XR9 planar finish face machining operation. Now one of the advantages of this new machining operation is that it pairs up nicely with the new 1CNC XR9 flow machining operation. For example if I want to machine these fillets we could select our flow machining operation, select the fillets that I want to machine, select the edge that's going to drive the actual direction of cut and then I can simply push through this and generate the toolpath for that as well. All right, so there's a quick overview of the new 1CNC XR9 planar finish face machining operation. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.